Welcome to the Navy Channel. Today, we're exploring a crucial and fascinating operation that plays a vital role in the effectiveness of the U.S. Navy, refueling at sea. This process is not just about topping off the tanks. It's a highly coordinated operation that allows the Navy to project power and maintain its presence across the globe without interruption. Let's dive into how it works, the technology behind it, and why it's so important to naval operations. Refueling at sea, formerly known as underway replenishment, UNREP, is a complex and essential process where one ship transfers fuel to another while both are moving through the water. This operation ensures that naval vessels, especially those critical to mission success like aircraft carriers and destroyers, remain fully operational without needing to return to port. A key player in this operation is the Henry J. Kaiser class replenishment ships. These vessels are the backbone of the Navy's logistical operations at sea. Designed specifically for the task of underway replenishment, these ships are equipped to carry large quantities of fuel, as well as other essential supplies, like food, ammunition, and spare parts. Each Henry J. Kaiser class ship can carry up to 180,000 barrels of fuel, ensuring that even the largest ships in the fleet, such as Nimitz class aircraft carriers, can stay fueled and ready for action. These ships are essentially floating depots, and their design allows them to deliver fuel to multiple ships in a single operation, making them incredibly efficient and vital to sustained naval operations. Operating these replenishment ships is a costly endeavor, running into tens of millions of dollars annually. However, this expense is necessary to maintain the operational readiness of assets that can be worth billions of dollars. Now, let's walk through how this refueling process actually happens. First, both the Henry J. Kaiser class ship and the receiving vessel, like an aircraft carrier or a destroyer, maneuver into position alongside each other. This is no small feat. These massive ships must maintain a precise distance, often just 30 to 50 meters apart, all while moving at a steady pace. The operation starts with the launch of a lightweight messenger line from the replenishment ship to the receiving ship. This line is used to pull a thicker, reinforced rope, and eventually, the fuel hose across the gap between the ships. The hose itself is a critical piece of equipment designed to withstand the high pressures of pumping large volumes of fuel and the constant movement caused by the waves. Once the hose is securely connected, the fuel begins to flow. This part of the process requires constant monitoring to ensure that the transfer is proceeding safely and efficiently. The amount of fuel transferred can vary but it's not uncommon for tens of thousands of gallons to be pumped during a single operation. For context, a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier can hold about 3 million gallons of fuel, and at full speed, it can burn through hundreds of thousands of gallons in just a few days. So, why is refueling at sea so strategically important? The ability to refuel and resupply at sea provides the U.S. Navy with a significant advantage in maintaining a global presence. Aircraft carriers and their accompanying strike groups can stay on station for extended periods, projecting power anywhere in the world without the need to return to port for fuel or supplies. This capability is especially crucial during conflicts or crises, where time is of the essence and the ability to sustain operations can be the difference between success and failure. The strategic mobility that refueling at sea provides allows the Navy to respond rapidly to emerging threats, maintain a continuous presence in key areas, and support allies and partners wherever they might be needed. This capability underpins the Navy's role as a global force for stability and security. Not all ships and aircraft carriers in the U.S. Navy perform refueling at sea. 
but the capability is essential for most of the fleet, especially for those vessels that are part of carrier strike groups or engaged in extended deployments far from any friendly ports. Aircraft carriers, destroyers, cruisers, and other large vessels are equipped and regularly trained to participate in refueling at sea operations. These ships are designed to maintain a high operational tempo, which means they need to be able to refuel without interrupting their mission. Refueling at sea is particularly crucial for aircraft carriers because of their enormous fuel requirements, not just for the ship itself, but also for the aircraft they launch and recover. However, smaller vessels or those with short-range missions might not always engage in refueling at sea operations. These ships often operate closer to shore or within a logistics network that allows them to return to port more frequently for refueling. Additionally, submarines and some specialized support ships have different refueling methods and are typically not involved in standard underway replenishment operations. Ultimately, the ability to refuel at sea is a strategic advantage that allows the U.S. Navy's most critical assets to remain at sea, ready for any mission, without the need to return to port. This capability is what enables the Navy to project power and sustain its presence in key regions around the world, no matter how far from home they are. Refueling at sea is just one part of the broader underway replenishment operations. There are two primary methods used, connected replenishment, CONREP, and vertical replenishment, VERTREP. In connected replenishment, ships are physically connected by hoses and cables, allowing for the transfer of fuel, ammunition, and other supplies. This method is the most common for fuel transfers, and is essential for keeping ships operational during long deployments. Vertical replenishment uses helicopters to transfer supplies between vessels. This method is particularly useful for delivering smaller, more urgent supplies that need to be transferred quickly or when the sea conditions make a connected transfer too risky. Together, these methods ensure that Navy ships are fully supplied and capable of operating independently for months at a time. In conclusion, refueling at sea is about much more than just transferring fuel. It's a key component of the U.S. Navy's ability to maintain its global reach and ensure that its most critical assets are always ready to respond, no matter where or when they're needed. The process involves cutting-edge technology, highly skilled personnel, and a deep understanding of the strategic importance of sustained naval operations. So, the next time you see a massive aircraft carrier cutting through the ocean, remember the complex, behind-the-scenes operations like refueling at sea that keep it on the move, safeguarding our national interests, and maintaining global security. Thank you for watching the Navy Channel. If you found this insight into naval operations valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content. And before we go, here's a question for you. If you were in charge of a refueling operation at sea, what would you focus on the most? Maintaining the perfect distance between ships, ensuring the safety of the crew, or maximizing the speed of fuel transfer? Let us know what you think and why in the comments below. See you next time.